Hi, I'm Adorin Zanidakis. We are in Stamperia booth in the division 2020 in Phoenix. And now we're about to show something, new stuff from Stamperia and uh, my collection. Uh, that's all. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. So, uh, you just drip a little bit of color and then use your, use your brush and just cover everything. That's simple. Nothing else. Okay? And then we dry. Okay. You don't need to clean the... I give you the dryers. Okay. So what you're making is the leather one, right? The leather, yeah. And this paper is glossy, so um, no, we're using the, the glossy side. Glossy, glossy and... and, and, and it's no gloss, it's two sides. Yeah, we're going to use a smoother side. Uh, so now we're going to use chestnut. We do the same. We did one layer with this, we dry, and then we do one layer with chestnut is like reddish. Uh, color, just one layer and we dry. It. Okay, this is what we do. The same thing like we did. Just another thing. Just like we did. Yeah, like we did. Yeah, don't worry, it's very simple. I tell you something, I say that all the time in the classes. We're so relaxed, we're all like, ah. yeah, 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 because you know, in also in the classes, this is the main thing. The ladies, and this is, this is I mean, this is normal, they want to use it exactly what I used. So when I explain them about the colors, they think that the leather. It's about the colors, but it's not about the colors, it's about the paper. The paper makes the difference, not the colors. So now, don't worry, I, I don't really need to show you how to put the color. It's many different ways, everybody will have different results. But as soon as you, you use this paper, at the end, you're gonna get the leather. Uh, Can you tell me the name of the paper again? Stone paper. I just want to like have the names for everything, because when you people watch videos, they ask that, and I don't you know. Okay, stone paper. And they're just watching. Oh my god, look at the effects that it creates. How cool is that? But they call it wall. Pretty much is the same dark brown inside the bottom. Okay? So they just gave the, the name there to be more interesting. Uh, now, you can see the difference. No pump with pump. Inside is the same thing. Okay? The same kind of, ma of material. Okay, just they have 24 colors with uh, the pump, and now they used to have six, now they have three colors without the pump. And I think they kept, kept, they kept those because of my leather technique and everything. Otherwise, they would just take them. Uh, so, what we do? Let's Are they you. acrylic based? Huh? Acrylic based? Yeah, well, yeah acrylic based. Yeah. Everything is water. Just, I don't know how, how much, how much. No, they're liquid, they're yeah, fluid. Yes, so I don't really know how. How much water percent based. they have? Water based. Okay, good. Huh? So the same thing is in the spray bottle. This is what I said before. Excellent. Can I do? Yes. Yeah. So let me show you this. Oh, look at the so now, can I show the textures? In the classes, me, what I do, I just put the color in the plastic cups, so and the ladies with the brush, they take and they just put the layer, they dry, and I tell them, I always telling them like, now you have to put as much layer, layer as you want, depends how dark you want. So usually me, I do five, six layers. Now, if you want to use it with a pump, it's just a different story. You just spray it. Look. Spray like this, and then you. It's the time that you must have patience. Because this needs to dry, and of course, it's, it's harder because it's much, much more color than spraying. But then, you see here, it's, the, the color is still wet. So, taking the baby wipe. Thank you very much. And tapping a little bit. You can get nice texture. Then you have to dry again a little bit. Like a resist technique. How much? It's up to you, of course. You understand, right? But as I said before, that, that those colors, they can make it very easy. Okay, watercolors, just play them, play, play with them. It can be very easy. But I have tried with many things. I the leather. I mean, it, you can do it with a lot of color, with alcohol links, with, with everything. Okay? Just the paper is the important. Because the paper then, you just take it and you just do this. This is the, the important about the paper. You cannot do that with a normal paper. Uh, that stone paper is a mess. Wow. Yeah, the paper, touch it also. Give it around so you can touch it. The paper is the, is the difference. Oh, wow. It totally feels like this. So do you think it before or after you start layering? No, after I finish. I think I did the opposite. 
Put it really close up on the video. Wow, it looks like leather. No joke. Look, I'm grabbing. I think that's it. So, this is what wow. we do actually in everything you have in front of you. Okay, just now, yeah, you use the color part. Just now, we have to, you must have a little bit of patience, okay? Because it's a lot of drying. Yeah. So, for that book in the middle, how many layers did you do for the sprays? For, for the one, one that you already did, yeah. If I like use it with a brush, Mm -hmm. Because in the class, usually they, we, do it, we do it with the brush. I put oh. the plastic cup, so we do maybe five, six layers. Depends how dark you want to be. Right. So now spraying, give it just one layer. If you put wow. a lot of color, you just dry and <laughs> pull it up. Be patient. Yes, it is. Uh, I prefer, with, I mean, you can put two, three, two, two books together and dry together. Okay, yes, well, just be patient. Spray. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can I show that spray? I just want to show the name so you guys have it when you see the video. Yeah, exactly. When you hold it, it's not for your color, and it's in color is Lomo. I don't know. Well, it's there. Thank you. So look how cool it looks. I love this effect. The whole, the whole thing. It's five dollars. Oh, I'm missing the D anyway. Huh? But you have to see. Heavy, heavy, heavy body paste. That's like modern paste, just more thick. And then you decide where it works have the leather underneath okay at the end of the project usually those things goes always in the corner okay in the corners of the project but look what i'm doing i'm, I'm not scrubbing like this up and down or i just play a little bit with my fingers i play to have more distressed look okay i take a little bit more i just put here i will play a little bit then i will take i make a big one here but don't make too many many big ones because they're gonna be like a dalmatian dog don't make it like this just maybe one big here in cup space. He's using chapstick to create some yes. texture. And just do this, take a little more. And what made you think about using chapstick? Because we are used to, it was very simple, look, uh, they use, when, when they used to do like the sub technique, they used to use, they used to, uh, use uh, uh, wax. Right. Wax. Okay, wax, but not wax, the wax like the candles. Like the wax for the, the furniture maker. Mm -hmm. So, they used to do that sandwich and they, they scratch with a, with a sandpaper. But the thing is that the wax is very hard, it's very, very, you know, very thick. So this one is so soft that actually you can just wipe off with baby wipe and you get very nice texture. Because the sandpaper just make lines, mostly. But this one, you're gonna, you're gonna see how nice, where is it? Should be somewhere. With this one, you really get very nice result. Well. Okay, after you do this, you, you decide where you want to put it, right? That can be even, I do my furniture like this at home. Okay, color, chapstick or Vaseline in the places, and then the another, and, yeah, another color on top, and then I just have the, the nice this effect, is. vintage look, the stress look, look, look now. So then just, which color you like, sir? Thanks, God. In three years, I know, I know you just said something right the first time. <laughs> Will it resist it? Is that what we'll do? It will resist? You can use Vaseline too, I think, no? Yeah, no, Vaseline is what I use. Just, yeah. I didn't have it, and one lady, I said, do you have any body lipstick and uh, oh. chopstick? And they said, yeah, I have. It's okay, yeah. chopstick. Yeah. yeah, chopstick. I don't chopstick. know what it is. <laughs> no, very soon. Very soon. Oh, very soon. Are you still waiting for this? <laughs> yes. We don't want to be very soon. After he antiqued it. And the nice thing is also, you can just keep some areas now here without too much color. Uh, Is that just regular acrylic paint? Yeah, yeah. And the good thing is that the acrylic paint dries permanent. So as soon as you dry the acrylic paint, you cannot remove it. So let's add also a little bit of the other colors. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. 
the, you can add, you can do whatever you like. That's the, the nice thing is that you have to blend very straight, for example, for me, very straight. You see my hand? It goes always up and down. I don't do those things. This is what I don't like. When the color is wet, you can do really very nice things. What happened? You have this count. And then you do red on the letters. That's right. Oh, Present. Okay. You can go and clean it. Huh? So look now what's gonna happen here that I have the chapstick underneath. Look. Wow. Well, and the thing really is, cool yeah. if you ever have done in your life uh, some mistake that means sand down the color with a sandpaper, it's different. It's different than the texture you get. This is the thing. Okay. And of course, because the paste is glossy, bright glossy, you can really go on top and also bring the white a little bit. And then you will be white after me And when you go when you go on top again with you will be white, you can really see the leather underneath. Okay. And then one more step to show you about the antique vintage paste. Okay. I don't know, to understand, to really understand how different it is from the normal sanding off, you have to, I mean, you have, you must have already experience with the other one. I mean, if you, if you ever use sandpaper, you can really understand what's the difference, how different is the texture. This is like, more like peeling off than just sanding down, okay? This is what you have to do. Just decide wherever you want, and then we dry again a little bit, and we are going to do the vintage and teaching paste on top. And we're done. Ah, no, this is just to put a little orange. He's adding a little bit of orange. Yeah. Mm. Is this like beginning? Ending? This is the end. Is the end of the world. Okay. Yes. Two more. Yes. What blue paint? The dark. The dark or the. Oil based. Okay. <laughs> then it's good if you have a hard brush. This is hog hair. Because the hard brush really help you to, to scratch, you know? Because now we don't paint, we scratch. We don't need to take too much from those, from, from this one. Just scratch and try to get in every inside, in every single detail. So you're applying it to all of it? All of it. But the thing is, okay, here we just have a simple, a simple notebook A5 size, not so many things on top. The thing that I want you to understand is that in this project, I do the same. I have everything bright, papers, colors, I have done everything. They're so bright. And then I just cover like this everything. Totally. They, you have seen that, right? You have seen that, right? Yes. Everything. You, you would, I don't let even a single, a single spot inside there to be bright. Okay, like the color is, is already there. Yeah. So I cover everything. Just the, the, the thing is that here it's very simple. So it's very easy. Just just the, the paste I apply. Here it's not so easy to apply on this, and especially in the classes, it's time. So what I do, I use a little bit of terps, terps turpentine, the white spirit. I just take a little bit white spirit, blend it here, make it more fluid, and then it's more easy to go in all those places. And then I wipe off with baby wipe. And I create all the shadows. Just the thing I always say is because of the vintage look, but it's different vintage and it's different dirty. It's big difference between vintage and dirty. So another thing I always say in the class is just, ladies, do it like an artist. Don't do it like we clean Coca-Cola from the floor. It's not like this is the most artistic part to have nice shadows. It's like when you know the, the metallic waxes. Well, Finnaber has metallic waxes, so a lot of people they take the wax and they just do highlights. So this is what I do actually, just taking off. Instead of put something, we take off. So you never, when you do the waxes, you never are like like this. You do it very slowly. So this is the same, just instead of put something, you just take off something. Okay, so here, of course, 
it's more simple because it's just a, a cover with not so many embellishments and things, but of course also this one gets when I get that nice vintage look. Let me show you now. And very important, we clean up and down. Up and down because the oil has some, uh, you know, it's oil based, has some, some traces. So if you clean up and down, you have nice traces. Okay, but if you clean rounds, you're going to have that. How long does it take to dry? Uh, look, from one side, if you just, as I had before, full of paste, maybe three days to dry totally. So that means that it gives you a lot of time to clean, you can play with it. Now, if I clean, maybe one, one and a half days, depends on the weather, oh, it's time to dry. And always me, I take the first layer. When I have to do something like square, it's like uh, I'm going to clean more in the middle, less on the sides, to be more vintage around. And then I will change baby wipe and I can go harder here and I get more light, bigger contrast. But you see, with the face, you can see every single texture. Everything is there, you can see it. Okay, so this is what you do. Any color has different results. Can I see it from closer? <laughs> wow. You get, you know, you get those, those dark edges here. Which you way those you like tiny better. things. Yours, anyway. you know? I like it. Yes. Yes. And, the thing, and the thing is that the paste just works different in, in any material. I mean, can it work different on gloss, gloss gel, can work different on acrylic, works different on papers. You don't have to understand something, eh? to be clear. Ladies, when, when it has to do with papers, anything is paper, rice paper, scrapbook paper, uh, whatever is paper needs to be sealed first. Eh? Don't apply the paste on top of the paper, and the paper will suck everything. It has to be sealed first with, uh, with a glue, water, uh, water based glue or varnish, water based varnish, something is water based and you seal it and then you can do it. Does it have a strong smell? I haven't smelled it. If, if it smells? Does it smell like a, like turpentine? You can smell? I can, I can smell from far away. No, just, just oil, just oil. Yeah. Not oh it's no, not it's not strong, it's not strong, it's very nice. It's okay. not chemical actually. No. So, uh, it's, it's one of the things that, like olive oil. that can fly. You know, you can you can they, they can ship it by flight. This is the thing. Doesn't have any any symbol that is toxic or something. Flammable. Flammable. Thank you so much, Antonis. Thank you. It's my pleasure.